Hello, this is Ian the Itinerant Gamer, here with another MTG Arena gameplay video. Today I thought we'd continue our run in Artisan. We've only got a few more hours left before the event expires. So I thought we'd give our doggos a second run. With that said, let's go. Okay. Guinness, a person of discerning alcoholic tastes. I love me a pint of Guinness, especially in the winter. Not so much in the summer, though. A bit heavy in the summer. Let's see. Got a hollow blade, a couple of watchdogs, two lands. Two lander with this. We've got a lot of cheap spells. Got some removal. I think, you know what? I think this is going to do just fine for us. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep it and see how we do. Ah, this new board. I think I saw this board in some other special event a while back. Not 100% sure, but it does seem familiar. I think it was the last seasonal event, like sometime last year. So we don't have any turn two plays. So we'll just drop the tap land. Gain a tiny bit of life. All right, we got a selfless savior. Nice, can protect our little doggies. So let's see, do we want to drop our selfless savior first? Or maybe drop him and drop our selfless, selfless savior next turn. We could also draw these things, but let's see, we've got six cards in hand. So, you know what, let's just drop a watchdog. Hopefully, depending on what our opponent does, who appears to also be on the Boros track. Boros Knights, okay. I'm not sure I've ever seen that guy played, but cool. Okay. Let's see this one here. All right, yes. So. I think if we drop, if we just go in, let's just go in and see what our opponent does. You're going to block this. Alrighty. There we go. A little bit overkill, maybe, but let's see what they put down now. Maybe Aurelia? No, I can't remember Aurelia's cost, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, some kind of Knight's Tribal thing going on here. Let's drop a land for the turn. And let's... Let's see. So we could just nuke that, but you know what? Three damage on a 1-2-1 one, one creature just... I don't know, seems like a bit of a waste. So, you know what? Let's drop you. And then attack in. We can always sacrifice the selfless savior. No, nope. okay. So that being the case, now they could have a shock, in which case, Putting this guy down is a bit of a risk, but you know what? It's still early days. Let's do that and get out our two friends. Yes, please. There's a cur. There's a watchdog. 
both into our hands. Okay. All right, so they're going to, yep, yeah, put this fellow down. And they do have the four mana the following turn to put in a big swing. Okay, let's see here. So we can attack in. Let's bring it to my turn. And let's see. I think we're going to clear the way a bit here. Whilst the opponent can't tap to make that creature stronger. Do we need to draw a card? Uh, no. Okay, so now that's done. Admittedly doing an instant. Casting an instant at sorcery speed feels a little bad. It's not all that bad. We'll keep you back. And in we go. Okay. And we'll end our turn there. Another Venerable Knight. Guess you could pump up. Well, it's only when it dies, though. Okay, it doesn't really apply to us. Going to attack in with that Venerable Knight. If they do, I think we'll just take it. Uh, apparently not. Okay. Alrighty. So, you know what I think we do? I think we yet again cast another instant of sorcery speed. Nuke that. Yeah, they'll put a counter on something else and that's fine. Okay. Now, if we could draw a shock next turn, then we'd be good to go. Part of me thinks maybe we should have dealt with her instead. Let's see. Okay. Let's go into combat. Again, we'll pull back this chap. And let's go. See what the opponent does. And they're not going to do anything. Okay. Alrighty, maybe they've got a plan. Maybe they've got some giant, huge, terrifying beast they're going to drop down. Maybe they've got Aurelia. She's a knight in Boros. Great card. Got it in my pre-release for the set when it came out. Well, let's see. I guess we'll drop another Houndmaster. Let's see. Yep, sure, why not? So we'll grab you. And I think that's all we're going to be able to do. That's all right. And then we'll end the turn there. Tempered Veteran, eh? Cool. I like Night Tribal, honestly. Okay, gonna attack in. That's fine. No blocks. There's no consequence. Unless they've got something that. Oh, they lifelink one damage. Eh. That is all right. Okay. So, first, I think we'll attack in. Again with everybody. And we'll pull back our friend here. And see what they block. Okay, might they have a pump? I guess we'll find out. Let's go to damage. Down to four. Okay. 
Let's see, I think we start dropping igneous curves onto the battlefield. And the opponent decides to concede. I guess they didn't have in their hand what they needed. They did only have the one card, I believe. So, uh, I believe so. Yep, only the one card. Let's see. Okay. So, gain a little bit of XP here. All right, I think that's going to do it for this video. And the next one, I think we'll play a little bit more of the Doggos. Try to take advantage of this event. And it's a fun little deck to pilot too. I want to thank you so much for watching. And this has been Ian, the Itinerant Gamer. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on those notifications or ring that bell. Thank you and have a good one.